What's going on guys, Nate the Great coming at you back again for another book review. For those of you who watched my previous book review, um, you know that I was reading this book called Talk Like Ted, The Nine Public Speaking Secrets of the World's Top Minds. Uh, this book, for those of you who are big into, you know, like speaking, like Toastmasters or anything like that, this has to deal all about TED Talks. Um, if you don't know what TED Talks uh, is or are, uh, I would definitely look it up on YouTube, look it up on Google. Um, it's literally like the number one most viral platform for speaking that you can possibly be on. Like, you know, you've had people that like Bill Gates, Richard Branson, some of the big time names that have been on these, as well as like Bono and, and just some famous actors, musicians. And it doesn't matter like, you know, how high up you are, like you can still do these, right? Um, it's all about challenging yourself and it's incredible. So TED Talks are for sure, you know, really well known throughout not just the nation, but throughout the entire world. So it's definitely, even myself, I look at that. It's, it's one of my dreams to for sure, you know, speak on a stage at, at TED. But yeah, I read this book, a really great book. It took me about a week to read it. I didn't really go too fast on it. Um, it's not that hard of a book to read. I will be honest, I, I did understand a lot of the principles that were in this. Uh, I took, I've taken, you know, speaking training before the Dale Carnegie course. Um, matter of fact, I got this, the, the Dale Carnegie's golden book in this, in the training, really amazing. But, uh, you know, this book really definitely taught me a lot and refreshed me a lot as well throughout the whole just speaking realm of things. And, you know, it goes over the mastering of storytelling, uh, you know, actually speaking like you're doing a conversation, how you can use metaphors and analogies and, and really bring your presentation to light, not with a bunch of words on the screen, but pictures that will actually enlighten the audience and that you can sort of go off of. It's, it's really amazing. And, and just this book here, I've, I've learned a lot from and, you know, I'll, uh, I'll take a little uh piece of the pie out, out of this and I'll give you guys some some value as I usually do so uh for example like teach me something new right because people like to be taught about new things so if you're if you're sitting and, and there's a speaker talking about something that you might not know about so let's say the importance of of why cutting grass is so healthy for the environment let's say he gives some bizarre fact you know, cutting your grass, yeah, I, mean, I don't know a random fact about it, but just something that blows your mind, right? Or something about eating a certain type of food, why it's so healthy for you. I look at, I just bought this, uh, it's called Green Juice from uh, Organifi. Uh, my mentor, he really is big on promoting it. So that was definitely like a, a, a more of a sale, a sell right there for me since my mentor does. But um, I just heard about it so much and I'm like, wow, I got to do this. And, and just hearing the, the facts on it, it was incredible. But, you know, it says secret number four, which is teach me something new. Reveal information that's completely new to your audience. Is packaged differently or offers a fresh and novel way to solve an old problem. TEDx speaker and designer Oliver Uberti once said, every superhero has an, orange, has an origin story. So do you. Don't follow someone else's. Create your own masterpiece. I find that most communicators are far more creative than they give themselves credit for. When, they've, when they're encouraged to unleash their creativity and to take an innovative approach to present their ideas, they rise to the challenge. You know, that's, that's so true. Um, you know, when they're encouraged, I mean, that right there, when they're encouraged to unleash their creativity, a lot of people, they try to be like other speakers and they don't release their creativity that way. They don't let their ideas that they really think about or have in their head come to fruition. They let, for example, if somebody's big into Eric Thomas or Tony Robbins, they're more than less supposed to, you know, they're going to sort of say the same message, right? Now, it's okay to say the same message, but if it's in your words, that's absolutely okay. But, but yeah, that's, that's, that's one principle. Uh, let me do another one here for you guys. Give you guys some value. Um, memorable. Yeah, one thing about this book, it has pretty long chapters, I'll tell you that. All right, stick to the 18-minute rule. Long, convo uh, yeah, long, convoluted, and meandering presentations are dull. 
a surefire way to lose your audience. The 18 minute rule isn't simply a good exercise to learn discipline. It's critical to avoid overloading your audience. Remember, constrained presentations require more creativity. In other words, what isn't there makes what is there even stronger. So that right there is deep. You know, have a time limit. That's very crucial. Um, again, this is a great book, uh, Carmine Gallo. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, some of the words in this book, as I'm sure you could see with me reading, you, you know, you will get tripped up a little bit uh, with the vocabulary, but of course that's great. You know, whenever you get tripped up on words, you're learning, right? And you're getting used to that, which is amazing. So anyways, guys, I recommend this for any speaker. Like if you're wanting to get into public speaking, get this book, one of the best books. I never heard of this book. And so I asked one guy in this in network marketing, he, he's made over like eight figures, eight, nine figures in network marketing. I asked him, what's one of the biggest books that's impacted your life? He said, uh, it's a book by TED Talks and it's Talk Like Ted. And I was like, wow. And then I met another guy who is very successful within another network marketing company. He has a killer, like he kills it on stage with his enthusiasm and his messages. And I asked him the same thing. He said, talk like Ted. I was like, wow. So I got it, got Talk Like Ted amazing book. I now know like different things again and I refresh my memory and my brain to sort of bring back like with the speaking classes that I've taken. So again, if you're in public speaking, cop it. If you want to get in public speaking, cop it. Amazing book. Hope this helps and uh, on to the next one.